Hello guys, in this video we will create a custom theme for our Drupal project. Drupal theme is the appearance of the website and it defines how a website will look, including layouts, colors and overall styles. Now open a website and as we can see we have already read this structure and styles. It is because when we install Drupal it automatically install and enable a theme for our website. Let's open the page appearance for, from the admin menu. On this page we will see the list of the themes and possibility to install or enable them. Let's check what theme our website using. We can see here that default theme is Olivero. It means that for page appearance responsible is theme Olivero. If we scroll down we will see that for the administration theme is responsible theme Claro. The administration theme applies only to the administration page such as content, structure, appearance, extent etc. All of these themes that are listed are currently in our project. Let's investigate Olivero theme which is located in Drupal core. Open Visual Studio code. Open core themes and here you can see Olivero theme. We see that it has its own CSS configurations, logo etc. In this video we will define our custom theme. We must place themes in the themes folder. It is good practice to place the contributed themes in a subfolder named Contrib and our open themes in a folder named Custom. Let's create custom folder. Inside the custom folder we need to create another folder whose name is our theme name. Name must be a lowercase starting with a letter. I will call it example theme. In the next step we need to define theme name.info.yaml file. Our theme name is in this case example theme, so the info yaml file name should be example theme.info.yaml. Let's create this file too. Info yaml file provides metadata about our theme to Drupal such as name, description, version, etc. This is the only required file for a theme. Inside we will have a key and value pairs, where only required is a name, type, base theme and core version requirement. Let's fill them. InfoYaml file is ready. Let's see what we have here. Name and description will be only visible in administration UI in the appearance page. To identify the to identify our theme. We have also here type which is identified that this is a theme so it can be also a module or a profile. Core version requirement uh, specifies which version of Drupal this theme are compatible. Our theme is compatible with Drupal 9 and 10 version and we have also base theme. It is identifying from which theme will inherit resources such as CSS, JavaScript, templates, etc. False means that the base theme is not used. Now we can open a website and move to the page appearance. If we scroll down we will see our example theme. This is the name and description that we provided in the info.yaml file. We have here also possibility to install and set as default. Let's do it. We just successfully created a custom theme and enabled it. Homepage, we will see that it looks ugly. Now we will create a regions for our website. We will add some simple styles. Now we will add the regions to our website. Region in Drupal are areas where specific type of content can be placed. These areas such as header, content and sidebar are predefined by a theme. Let's look for an example. Open from admin menu structure and click to the block layout. We can see here uh, regions for example theme. Let's open for Oliver which is already defined. We can see here we have header, primary menu, secondary menu and etc. 
We can also click to the demonstrate block regions. This page shows the structure of the regions. In this video, we will create a regions for our example theme. To define a region for our theme, open Visual Studio Code and open the info.yaml file and add another key which is called regions. And as a child, add the key value pair where the key is the machine name for regions and as a value, readable name that will be displayed in the administration UI. Let's add a couple of them. We successfully defined our regions. After clearing the cache, we can see the regions in the structure block layout page. Now let's clear the cache. Open page configuration. Performance. And click to the clear all caches. Open back structure and click to the block layout. We can see here the regions that we are defined. We have header, highlighted, content, sidebar, and footer. If we will open Visual Studio Code, we will see exactly the same. So the regions are successfully created and they are ready to place the block, which we can do using the place block button by clicking and choosing from the model. So we can click to the place block next to the region and we can place any block that we want. For example, I can put page title and save. And also I can move it. So I want to have a page title and after main page content and click to the save blocks. Some of the regions will not be visible because they are defined, but we don't have them in our templates. In order to have it, we should create a template for a page, which is page.html.vig and add our regions there. So uh, open Visual Studio Code and in the theme folder, create another folder and call it templates. In this folder, we will add all of the Twig templates that we need to override create page.html.twig file. We need to use variables page and use the region key. For example, to add a region in the page.html.twig, we need to write page variable. After we need to use dot and the key of the region. So, okay, let's copy past this and add the keys. We just successfully added all of the regions in our template. So after clearing the cache, we can use demonstrate block regions and we can see does it ready or not. Open configuration in a new tab, click to the performance and click to the clear all caches. Now go back to block layout page and click demonstrate block regions for our example theme. Now we can see all of our regions. One note, only the content region is required. Now we will learn how to add assets such as CSS and JavaScript to our Drupal theme using library's YAML file. Libraries are a collection of CSS and JavaScript files that can be loaded on a page. The library's YAML file should be located in the theme folder. Let's create it. In the theme folder, create a new file. It should start with a theme name, which is example theme dot libraries YAML. Now let's define the library. We just defined our first library. Let's see what we have here. First line is a key of the library. We will use this key to connect our library to our theme. 
Next, we have a version. We are defining the version of library. It needs to control cache from the browser. Uh, this is a type of the asset, which is a CSS. And also we have here theme. This is a CSS file categorization. Drupal will change the load order depending on the category. It is also a good way to organize the CSS. And in the last line, we have a path to the CSS file. Now let's create also the CSS file. I will use the same path. In my theme will be folder CSS and inside CSS will be style.css file. I will add here some basic styles to see the result. For example, I will add a background color to the tag body. Now our library is defined. We need to connect to our pages. Let's copy K of the library and open info.yaml file. We need to add here another K, which is called libraries. Under libraries, we can put the libraries that will be connected to all of the theme pages. The way for adding libraries, we need to add first resource. It can be module or a theme name or core, depending where is the library defined. And here we need to write example theme because our library is defined in, in our theme and slash after slash we have to write the key of the library. Now everything is ready. We can clear the cache and see how it works. Open page configuration and performance and clear all caches. Now let's open the front page and we can see that background becomes orange. It means that our library is successfully connected. We can also add a JavaScript file to our library. Under global styling, in the same label as CSS, write JS, which is a type of assets and directly write the JavaScript file path. Let's create this JavaScript file in the theme folder, create JS folder and under it put main.js file. I will write here some alert to see if JavaScript works. Let's clear the cache again. performance, clear all caches. We see that JavaScript is also works. So in this video, we created a custom theme. We defined the regions for our theme and also we added some CSS and JavaScript code to theme. Thank you for the watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to this channel.